So this is my Audi S4 that I bought on auction for, I believe, $39.50 is what I won this car for or just bought outright for. This is a 2011 B8 model. Now, currently as it stands, it does not start up, but it should be running drive. And then I'm gonna diagnose any issues that it has from there on out. This is supercharged engine. And right now I'm currently just like sanding down the windshield with some vinegar, some 1000 grit sandpaper, get all these uh, for sale sign marker stuff and all these stickers off pretty much. Now, don't be hating on me in the comment section, bro. Like the windshield is already cracked. So like, it's no reason I shouldn't be able to sand down a windshield for and replace it anyway. So I'm working on that right now. It's got a little bit left to go, but it's getting there. But all in all, the car looks great for the most part. First thing, the front bumper, pretty much hanging off a little bit. Gotta fix that up. Missing a vent on the left front and then one below the main uh, vent. I'd like the mesh style vent on this 2011 B8 model. This car looks very, is it aggressive? I'm not sure how I would describe this, but it looks unique with that grill. Have the silver mirrors. Of course, that supercharged badge just looks so good. And then of course, the key that says S4 to match your vehicle. A little bit peel, but get the gist. Tires look okay, wheels look very good. I'm not sure these are aftermarket Audi wheels, but they definitely look like they did not come stock on this car. Now there is a cold air intake in the front of the car. And also there's a lot of carbon on the interior. What is this? The fuser thing? This should be able, this, this should just pop right back into the car once I start working on it. They put a carbon spoiler on here. Next thing that's wrong with it for cosmetic stuff is this left side mirror. This is cracked completely. Like I said, the windshield is also cracked. As you see, the interior is absolutely beautiful, well-maintained. See the S4 badging as soon as you step into the vehicle. Get these bucket light seats that say S4 on both of them. And including the back seats. S4 on all those. And the car is kept really clean. Props to the previous owner, he's really took care of this car from a cosmetic standpoint. We're not sure how the engine is doing quite yet. Just take a seat inside. <coughs> Get the S4 on the steering wheel. I have uh, these sun visors up because it is pretty hot out here. 100, should be cooling off now. And one more thing that needs to be fixed is the rear view mirror. For some reason this is off. I'm not sure how this happens, but we'll get this sorted out soon. And this car does have a backup camera as well. So it be nice to see what other features this car has hidden before we get started up, you know? Then you have the amazing dash. Let me turn these wheels straight. There we go. Dash says S4. And you see it to the right. 200 miles per hour. It's the first car I've ever had that said 200 miles per hour on the dashboard. And this car has 118,000 miles, if I'm not mistaken. Also get the power shifters, silver. A little bit of peeling, normal wear on the steering wheel. This is a 2011 and only 118,000 miles for a 2011 is absolutely amazing. You can tell that yeah, this is a older model because of the old bulky Audi steering wheel and of course the bulky shifter. But all in all, it feels really good in here. You see the previous owner put a lot of carbon everywhere. This is broken up here. You do get a sunroof. Oh no, this is a good feeling car. Very clean, very well taken care of. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the other A4 and try to jumpstart the battery. See, that gives it more juice. We tried to use a jump starter kit, but that did not provide enough power for the car. So hopefully jump starting it will actually take care of the issue and then we can see what's actually wrong with the engine. And like I said before, there is a cold air intake up there. And I believe the car is actually lowered a tad bit. I'm not sure just because it's an S4 that's a lower sitting car. 
but it did bottom out on the uh, trailer when they were getting it here. On this A4 right here, you can get a little bit more space. Two to three inches of uh, clearance. This one has about maybe one, two. Oh, I was making some noises. <laughs> so the engine bay hydraulic system for the hood is uh, shot right now. So using a golf club to hold it up. Take a look at the engine. Have a cold air intake. We need to definitely use a new filter. Supercharger sitting right here on top, nice and pretty. Gotta do a little cleaning up. A lot of dust everywhere. Full tank of coolant, full. I can't tell if it's full of oil, but definitely some oil in there looks pretty good. And you know, these alleys don't have a dipstick, they have the electronic. <clears throat> the electronic one so gotta check it out in there and our issue right now seems to be the alternator which is right down here in this section right here and i'm seeing two serpentine belts i'm not sure how they interwoven this oh because of the supercharger probably that's why this extra belt this extra um pulley right here is for the supercharger most likely and then the regular serpentine belt is in the back but yeah, it should be alternate right here below all this stuff. Gotta take the whole front off. It's just a beautiful looking car. I love the mesh grill, absolutely beautiful. And the one thing I really love about, two things I really love about, maybe three things, but definitely the badge on the key, the badge on the seats, and of course the seats itself are just absolutely amazing. This car may be fully loaded with all the options. I don't see any blank buttons anywhere except for right here here maybe missing a rear sun shade or something like that but all in all all the buttons are filled in completely parking brake a little bit sticky on the buttons per se haven't been pushed in a while voice control this is the all-wheel drive supercharged v6 333 horsepower this is an absolute monster this will pretty much be anything you see on the streets right now and you also get a little bit of um, a little bit of a uh, notch in the steering wheel also more sportier feel do enjoy that would be cool if they had a flat bottom steering wheel also but i'm glad they put the uh, s4 badge in here let you know what you're driving kind of feel like Doug the mirror right now putting all these logos s4 here s4 there s4 on the seats S4, S4 there, S4 here, S4 on the back, S4 in the back. And in case you're sitting at home and you forget what car you're driving, S4 on the key also. Let you know that you're better than those A4 owners. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is pretty much grab the other A4 and try to jumpstart this car. But I have to get to the battery, which is in the trunk. And we had that open getting off the truck, but um, we need to actually probably power to the front to make the electronics work to open the trunk. So I'm just gonna reach my hand between that little section between the seat and see if I can pull the um, emergency release button and then we can just jump start it from there. So we're currently jumping the car right now. Got the A4 here, S4 here. So I'm gonna let it charge up for a second. All right, so it's currently seven o'clock in the morning and we couldn't get the car started yesterday turns out it is completely out of gas and we took the battery to AutoZone and uh to have it charged overnight the battery was on zero percent so hopefully it'll be charged this morning we're gonna go check it out and if it's not charged just buy a new battery we'll get another uh two gallons of gas to put in here and we'll just see if it'll start up got our gas tank spare tires in the back and one singular floor mat if anybody knows what this part is here, this will just sit in the truck somewhere. I'm not sure where this goes, but definitely went under the car somewhere. Looks like some type of support. Hopefully uh, it's not that important, but if you know what this is, let me know in the comment section below. All right, so we got our fresh battery in, four gallons of gas. Go ahead and prime the full fuel tank real quick. Fuel pump, I mean. <clears throat> power to mm -hmm. uh, 
we'll go ahead and go for it. Nothing. All right, so the car didn't start most likely. It's the alternator, but broke out the cold rear seat. Any issues? Yep, so only one code lost communication with TCM. So as it stands right now, the car won't even turn over. So we're thinking it's most likely the alternator that's pretty much bad. That's why it won't start up or anything like that. Also have the TCM issue that just came up on the code, the transmission control module. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get it inspected by Audi. They'll tell me exactly what's wrong with it and we can go from there. But I definitely believe it's the uh, alternator that's pretty much bad. And just one more clue that I feel like the alternator is bad because there's a box in the trunk that reads this box right here with a couple of bolts in there look closely it says new alternator for Hyundai Ascent now I'm not sure how this relates to this car because I, I don't think Volkswagen owns uh, Hyundai or Hyundai yeah, so are they trying to cheat behind this buy this alternator and switch it out instead? I'm, I'm not sure, but that's just a hint that we may need an alternator. But as of right now, we got full power to the car. Let me see if uh, the remote actually works here. Let's see if I can pop the trunk with the key real quick. Yep, pops right open. So yeah, all the electronics work. <clears throat> Pretty much, except the everything works except this um this right here the multimedia unit. So when I put the key in, dash will light up, do its little dance, then throw tells you all the issues with it, TCM and all a bunch of other stuff. There we go. It'll light up just like this. And then just go off like that. There you go. Tire pressure system malfunction. And then the parking brake is also has issues apparently. So the battery in the back was a brand new 2022. Uh, was it Super Cell battery? Superstar battery. That one had a three year warranty on it. And I can't claim that warranty because that's not my account and I can't claim that warranty. So we could have got a brand new battery. But this car completely drained that battery, hence the alternate issue. So that's probably what destroyed the battery in the first place. And went ahead and bought a new battery. I did get a discount for bringing the old one in though, which was pretty cool. But yeah, 240 for that battery. And I put another three year warranty on it. And so we'll go ahead and get the car inspected and probably get the alternate replaced. And then I can go from there to see what else I need to do to it. Regular maintenance, the cosmetic issues, and all that other good stuff. But for right now, cars just out here chilling. And it's Saturday too, so I gotta wait until uh, Monday to get all this stuff started. But what I'm gonna do now is just do a nice interior detailing, clean out the engine bay a little bit, clean out the trunk a little bit. Like I said, the car is already pretty much clean. It's a little bit dusty from sitting around for so long. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that real quick. But I'll update you guys as soon as I know more information about the car. I have it shipped out there. They'll check it out for me. and then. We'll see when we get this thing started. So I'm gonna upload this before I take it to the shop. If you guys have any recommendations for me, any questions about the car, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll take all the help I can get with this one. Cause I can't wait to start driving this absolutely amazing car. Other than that, thanks for watching.